Mongol Emperor Chinggis Khan is of course rather famous for the many children he fathered in his lifetime. Of these, none are more well known than his four sons with his empress and primary wife Borta. These were Jochi, Chagatai, Irgadai, and Tolui. But with Borta, Chinggis had several daughters as well, who played key roles in the early years of the Mongol Empire. These were Kojinbeki, Chechiagan, Alakabeki, Tumelun, and Altolun. In this series, we are going through what is known of the lives of these women, and their role in the Mongol Empire, and how politics over the 13th century affected what we know about them. Over this series, you will hear some cultural practices that may be strange to modern audiences. While it's often said that nomadic women had more rights than other medieval women, this has some caveats. These women, as were the male children, were married off for political purposes to serve the empire, often repeatedly. You will see throughout these videos incidents of what is termed levirate marriage. The nobility in these societies had multiple wives and concubines, and upon the death of the father, his sons and brothers would often marry these wives, with the exception of their own mother. And a daughter of Chinggis Khan was too prestigious and important to be wasted on only a single generation. It took generally more powerful and forceful women, such as the Hatuns Toregene and Sorkaktani, to refuse to remarry after their husbands' deaths. Those who married a female descendant of Chinggis received the prestigious title of Kurigen, meaning son-in-law. This was the title Emir Timur later used to legitimize his rule in the 14th century, and passed on to his own descendants. For this reason, it was something of the official name for the dynasty of the Mughal Empire. In contrast to his four main sons, for Chinggis Khan's daughters we often have frustratingly little and often contradictory information. Much of this is tied to political developments in the Mongol Empire over the 13th century, as some of these women found themselves on the losing side. Important sources like Rashid al-Din will give three entirely conflicting accounts of the same marriage, or from one section of his text to another, the identity of a Kurigan and his Chinggisid spouse will change. We have two medieval texts, where sections on the daughters were removed and only a fragment remains. In Rashid al-Din's own text, he promises to provide more information on the murder of one daughter, only to never come to the matter again. In The Secret History of the Mongols, a section of the text dedicated to Chinggis Khan listing off lands and peoples assigned to his daughters has been cut down so all that remains is Chinggis stating, let us reward our female offspring. Much of what you will hear in this series is the only information which survives about them at all. With that being said, let us begin. In this part, we talk a bit about Mum and the oldest daughter, Kojin Becky. Chinggis Khan and Borte Hatun's first child, Kojin Becky, was likely born around 1180, before Chinggis was a mighty emperor and still just Timujin, little more than 18 years old at the time, and Borta a year older. Over the following 16 years or so, Borta seems to have given birth to a child once every two years, for a total of nine children. The only child whose year of birth is relatively certain is Urgadai, Chinggis' successor as Great Khan, who was born probably in 1186. The sources roughly outline the order of the children. Statements such as that Kojinbeki was the oldest, that Alaka Beki was younger than Urgadai, the third son, and both Alaka and her sister Tumelun were older than Tolui, Chinggis' fourth son, while Altalun is routinely noted as the youngest daughter. Altogether, this lets us build an approximate chronology and order of birth, but all dates remain just that, approximate. This data also indicates that Borta was rarely too far apart from her husband over some of his most difficult years, and was well cared for, with one notable exception. Perhaps a year or two after Kojin Becky's birth, Borta was abducted and held captive by the rival market people for up to a year. Once rescued, Borta was pregnant with, or had just given birth to, their second child, a boy named Jochi. A cloud hangs over his paternity even 800 years later. However, Chinggis Khan always treated Jochi as legitimate, and seems to have considered him as heir until the early 1220s. 
Chinggis and Borte continued to have many children after that, and only the children with Borte were ever considered true contenders for the imperial throne. As far as it is known, all nine of Borte's children reached adulthood. This contrasts with Temujin's other wives and concubines, whose children we have even less information about, having one to two children at most, and many who died in infancy. It is unclear when Borte died. A few vague references may indicate she lived into the 1230s, outliving her husband by a few years and dying in her 70s. Borte's lineage was the Kongorad, which became something of an official source of empresses for the Khans. Two other lineages we'll meet in these episodes, the Ikiris and Ulkunut, were sublineages of the Kongorad. The Khans certainly had other wives and concubines with whom they had children with, but the Kongorad branches and the Oyarat had a privileged position where generally only their women became chief consorts of the Khans, and usually only their children became Khans. As stated, it is estimated that Chinggis Khan's firstborn child, Kojinbeki, was born about 1180 or so, while her father Temujin was still a rather minor warlord. From that point on, we do not have a single mention of her until the start of the 1200s. Presumably, she followed along in the Urdu of her father and mother, learning how to shoot a bow, ride a horse, care for herds, and run the Urdu, but remained unwed. The first mention of her that we get comes in 1202. That year, Temujin was seeking to establish marriage ties with his ally, Toro, the Khan of the Karyat Khanite, and usually known as the Ong Han. Temujin proposed that Kojimbeki should marry Toro's grandson, Tusaka, and that Ong Han's daughter, Chaorbeki, should marry Temujin's oldest son, Jochi. The idea was shot down by Ong Han's troublemaker of a son, Sengonilka, who convinced his father to betray Temujin and to lure him into a trap to kill him. The plot was foiled, and the 22-year-old Kojinbeki thus remained unwed. A spouse did come along for her soon after, in the form of an older man named Butu of the Ikiras. Butu was an early and very loyal ally of Temujin, joining him in the mid-1180s, and had previously been given Temujin's only sister, Temulun, as a bride. That is the last mention of Temulun and she is presumed to have died soon after. So nearly 20 years after marrying Temulun, and soon after the establishment of the Mongol Empire in 1206, Butu married his late wife's niece Kojinbeki. After that, Butu remained a highly prominent commander, leading thousands of troops in the wars against the Jin dynasty, especially under Muhali, the core of whose army was made up of these groups linked by marriage to Chinggis Khan's daughters. The lands of the Akiras were in northeastern Mongolia, where Kojinbeki may have stayed while her husband was on campaign, or she may have accompanied him. Khans and their generals usually took at least one wife with them on campaign, who was responsible for running the army's base camp, handling supplies and logistical needs while the Khan dealt with battles and sieges. After her marriage to Butu, Kojinbeki receives only sporadic mentions, though we know she had a number of children and grandchildren. Of them, the most notable was her granddaughter Hutuktai, who was the Empress of Great Khan, Menka. Kojin's husband, Butu, died in 1227, soon after Chinggis, and Kojin likely ran their lands until their children came of age. The last mention I found of her dates to 1236, when she and many other members of the imperial family were granted lands across conquered North China to pay them revenues. This ends our first part on the daughters of Chinggis Han. Next week, we look at the lives of three of these daughters, Chechiagin, Alaka Beki, and Tumilun.